In this presentation, I'm going to talk about why Spiritism has remained prevalent in Brazil even after 150 years. Spiritism was created in Europe during the mid-19th century. Kardec developed Spiritism to be able to give a scientific explanation to spirit manifestations and infestations throughout the world. Kardec's goal was never to create an exclusive club or strict school of thought. He even claimed that everyone who believes they are made up of more than just matter is a spiritualist. Although spiritism was designed for everyone, it came to Brazil by way of the elites. Young men would be sent to Europe for boarding school and would become familiar with Kardec's work through classes and lectures. Upon returning to Brazil, they would spread the knowledge they gained to anyone who would listen. Once spiritism arrived in Brazil, it has had two major reasons for maintaining its relevance. First, its inclusivity of all, regardless of socioeconomic status. And second, it has evolved to fit its practitioners' needs. The key to Spiritism's inclusiveness stems from a prominent belief that to be a Spiritist, you only need to accept its philosophy. The ability for anyone to join the movement attracts many people of poor social classes because through the movement, they can access a world they would otherwise not be able to be a part of. David Hess interviewed a young girl named Christina in rural Brazil who had been experiencing spirit infestations. Christina lived in a small agricultural town that was very poor. Her family had no telephone but did have a TV. Christina would stay glued to these TV, this TV when her novellas came on. She was looking for a chance to be involved in the novellas, dramatic plot lines, when the news of her manifestations got around, she made it onto a local TV show and into the newspapers. Even if only for a short time, Christine was able to be included in a dramatic world outside of her normal routine. The adaptation of Spiritism has been crucial to maintaining a following. In the predominantly Christian nation of Brazil, Spiritism has adopted several common Christian principles, such as charity and goodwill to fall in line with Christians' beliefs. Another development has been to speak like evangelical preachers to make visitors or potential members feel comfortable in the new setting. Finally, Spiritism doesn't feel threatened by other religions because as David Hess puts it, Spiritism is a study of a school of thought or philosophy rather than a faith. The ability for Spiritism to not feel threatened by a religion like Christianity but embrace it proves its ability to include and adapt have preserved the movement and will for some time to come. Spiritism came over from Europe in the mid-19th century and thrived because of its ability to include all regardless of political or social status and its ability to adapt and not be threatened by major religions like Christianity but to include some of their beliefs.